Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So this is the old greenhouse. Um, I mean, this is a re actually this is actually a recycled greenhouse. We had an old aluminium um, greenhouse, aluminium and um, plastic greenhouse that flew away in the wind. Um, I repurposed it and made another greenhouse. Now it's time, the old greenhouse has fallen apart and now it's time to repurpose it and make something else. Just keep watching and I'll show you what I'm gonna to make today. So I'm gonna start taking the old greenhouse apart get a pot I mean at the moment it's used for storage of all kinds of stuff you get, get it in like that use a crowbar and just behind the nails Okay, see? So this is going to be the part one of demolition in, dem demolishing this greenhouse. Because this greenhouse needs to take, come apart. But we're not going to just completely wreck it. We're going to take it apart and we're going to use everything from this greenhouse again. We'll use this wood again. We'll use this plastic again. And You should know by now, I don't waste anything. So we've managed to take um, th this side of the shed out, the greenhouse off. And we've taken all the nails out of the plastic. Now we're gonna give it a good scrub because there's, there's, there's a lot of algae growing on this. So we're gonna give it a good scrub and get it into a good state that we can use it in. It's gonna let maximum light through. So can you guys go and get a bucket and some water and some sponges? So you put them all together and then paint it and then we'll f turn them all on the same side and then paint it. It'll be easier to, for you to do. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to give it a good scrub and get all this green off. Okay. okay. So all the green, all of it wants to come off nicely. Yeah? Good man. Go on, scrub it all off. And the good thing about doing it on the lawn like this is the grass gets watered as well. Yeah, yeah, give it here, give it here, give it here. Let me, let me show you. Get right in there. Okay, you need to, you need to, Right in there. All this red needs to come off as well. Okay. Okay. Just paint it! Paint it! So Zaki's taken over on the hose pipe. He's not letting anyone else use it. But he's doing a pretty good job. He's cleaning He's cleaning up. Here, yeah, get that side. Go around that side. Go on. That's it. That's it. That's all we need. There we go. He's got me a few times as well with it. So let's get this mud off. Hey! Stop. I'll do that bit. That, that bit. Good man. Okay. So I'm starting to put this together now. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to I'm trying to economize on these bits of scrap wood that I've got. So I don't want to waste as, I'm trying to reduce the waste of the wood as much as possible. So, yeah, we can make one, but not right now. Right now it's cloche time, okay? Cloche? Mm -hmm. This is a cloche. So what I'm doing is I'm just making the frame first of all, and I'm going to attach the plastic to it. So if you grab that end, Turn it over. Put it down. 
Just hold it. You got it? Yeah. No. Oh, oh. Oh. What I wanted to happen there is not actually working because the pallet would split in. Oh, so you put one over here on this top, and then you put one on the side, then one on the other side, then it was so split in. let's let's try a different tactic. Let's get the sides on, and then we'll let's get the let's get the <laughs> let's get the plastic nailed into place first, and then we'll start drilling stuff together. The way I'm doing it is I'm just hammering using these uh, roofing tacks to hammer this plastic into place. So it's roofing felt tacks or whatever they're called, the galvanized ones. We'll start putting this together. Yay. Okay, how they lift that side up, sweetheart? Okay. Go on, lift it up. There you go. This is a bit more delicate than it needs, and I want it to be. Can you stop climbing on me? Okay. <sighs> so, hopefully, once I've finished making this, it'll give the veg the warmth that, they, that it needs. That's the side. I've deliberately left these sides a little bit longer so they can push into the ground so it doesn't blow away in the wind. Stand up. There we go. Oh, this, is, this is becoming more of a chore than I was hoping it'd be. Hi, Jack, can you get me one of those little blocks? It's just really fiddly. Just get me one of those little blocks. So, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make these plates to joining plates i mean it'd be good if i had some metal brackets you know some little metal brackets that i could have just screwed in that would have been a lot easier i've actually got some of those no i haven't got any When things aren't going right, every little thing just wants to. There we go. I mean, the, my DIYing is very rough and very ready, but it gets the job done. Yeah. Can you come in here? Come in. Stay there, Becky. Good. Yeah, what's it? That bit of um that square bit. Yeah. Pass me two screws. It's coming on, it's coming on. It's just a bit more fiddly than I hoped it'd be. <laughs> you 
waiting to get the cross braces on and then get these bits fastened. So we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So get these cross braces on and get these side bits fastened and it should be in a much better state. So it's coming along. The frame's almost there. The frame's looking good. It's doing its thing. Now I just need to get the sides and the end on. I've got the top on. I've got the one side on. I need to get the other side on and the two end panels on. So once I've got the two sides and the end panel on, then it'll be good to go and it'll get protecting my lettuces. So let me get up on this concrete a little bit and so I'm on a bit more of a stable surface when I'm knocking nails in. So there we go. It's a rough and ready little cloche splash mini greenhouse. Could do with a couple of more pins in the top and that'll secure it. What I might, I don't want to hit it with the hammer in the middle because those, these battens will break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my staple gun when I find it and just staple them into place. But that's going to work for me for tonight. So I'm going to go and get these over my lettuces. So let's go. So let's get these down to the bottom of the garden and it'll give us some protection for tonight just in case there's a frost. I mean there's my lettuces just here and here I've got some lettuces planted out. So let's just get it over the top of this. Move that along. And just push it in there we go and that'll give me good protection so that'll give me good protection from the frost overnight on my little uh on, on my lettuces just one second i mean even if you've got nothing else if you just place something like this over the top of little plants you just want something that's going to stop the frost from settling so I've got some more lettuces just over there and that's going to be fine. I mean, I can leave that tomorrow all day and I'm not going to worry about it. The only thing I might have to worry about is it, if it gets too hot in there. But if it does, I'll just pop it off. But that's going to serve me nice when I pop my tomatoes out and I plant my tomatoes out and I plant my courgettes out. Because it's nice and big, it's a good size. It's, a, it's pretty much a little greenhouse. And I think this is going to last me a few years once I get it stapled up and finished off but yeah there we go that's a nice little uh, mini greenhouse a little another little project from me i managed to get these peas planted out yesterday and they're perfectly fine for the frost i was going to plant another row of onions in front of them which i've got here but i'm not going to get a chance tonight so i'm gonna have to pot these back up and we'll get back onto that tomorrow so i'm gonna leave it there for this one assalamu alaikum warahmatullah